probably not go. I just have one other question on the house. Um, mm -hmm. Is there going to be any kind of a public meeting before we actually purchase this? I mean, is the town going to be notified that we did this $10,000 study and there's going to be an actual meeting? Because I mean, I'm not sure that everybody in town realizes that we're going to be spending $380,000, have to raise that house, get rid of whatever contamination is potentially in it, and then have to wait. I mean, we could be stuck with this property for years before we get a rateable. I mean, that property has been sitting there since, God, I was in my 20s which was a long time ago. <laughs> so, you know, if my concern is, is that we could potentially be stuck with a piece of property that we're not going to be able to do anything with right away. And in the meantime, all of our taxes are going to go up. We're only 8,000 residents. I mean, to, to ask us to, you know, foot the bill for $1.6 million between that and the other matter that I spoke about, the pumping station, I mean, my taxes are already at $7,200, and I live in a 1,400-square-foot home. I mean, how much more are you going to raise my taxes for a piece of property that, quite frankly, has been sitting there for years? There's obviously something wrong if nobody else wanted to buy it, because that's a decent-sized piece of property for $380,000. So why are we foot the bill? And isn't there a grant or something out there that we could get to foot the bill for this? And I really think that we need to have a public meeting, an, an actual public meeting. The, the citizens of Spots would need to be notified that we're, going to try, we're attempting to purchase this property and the downfalls. And, you know, and the mayor just said, if we get a rateable in there, if. I'm sorry. I'm not going to rely on if my property taxes go up more or if they go down because we possibly might get a rateable in there. Uh, I think we need to have a, an open town forum with respect to this piece of property. Diane Charles, 29 Old Stage Road. Um, in the August 14th uh, edition of the Sentinel under the Community Bulletin Board, um, Senator Deegan was sponsoring a youth art contest for the contestants that live in East Brunswick, Edison, Helmeta, South River, or Metuchen. And I was curious to know why Spotswood wasn't included. It's not part of my district. So everywhere around us, Helmet is included, but Spotswood's not. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Who gerrymandered that? <laughs> Somebody hired them. Holy man. So the, our kids can't participate. I don't know if Senator Greenstein is doing something similar or not. Her name's not on this as being a sponsor, so. Wow, really that know. sucks. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next meeting will be September 16th. Monday night, 16th is right. Motion to adjourn. That makes motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. Oh, that's destroyed. That's destroyed. So the guys that were up in the mountain, they're looking down the Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,